Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let's begin our class with Al-Fatiha. Okay, um, so we have finished with chapter 3, um, Elasticity. Then today, kita akan tengok um, chapter 4, Market Equilibrium. Okay, so Market Equilibrium ini, Actually, dia adalah um, uh, dia adalah sambungan daripada chapter 3. Yeah? Sebab chapter 3, kita tengok individually demand, kita tengok supply separately. Okay? So, untuk market equilibrium, kita akan combine both demand and supply. Yeah? Kita akan jadikan dia sebagai market equilibrium. Lah. Yeah? So, first of all, go to page 90. Okay, kita nak tengok what is the definition of um, market equilibrium. Ya? Yeah? Um, so, market equilibrium is a condition whereby yeah, quantity demanded and quantity supplied are equal. Right? Um, so, before that, kita nak tengok market. Market itu apa? Market adalah place where both buyer and seller meet to do the transaction, to do buying and selling process tu lah. Eh? So, what is market equilibrium? Market equilibrium is a condition when um, the quantity demanded and quantity supplied are equal. Maksudnya, um, The intersection between supply and demand curve. So, supply curve intersect dengan demand curve itu adalah market equilibrium. So, it is a point of stability. Right? Um, so, kita boleh juga kata the price and quantity that buyer willing to buy equals to the price and quantity that seller willing to sell. So, that is market equilibrium. So, once bila dah achieve market equilibrium, there is no tendency for the price and quantity to change. Price akan remain as it is, quantity akan remain as it is. Okay, so now kita nak tengok um, page 97, uh, 91, uh, determination of equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. Macam mana kita nak determine price and quantity, equilibrium price and quantity. So, tengok table 4.1. So, we have price $1, $2, $3, $4 and $5. Kita ada quantity supply, kita ada quantity demanded, right? So, kita analyze one by one, okay? So, $1, quantity supplied 2 units, quantity demanded 10 units. $2, quantity supplied 4 units, quantity demanded 8 units. $3, quantity supplied 6 units, quantity demanded 6 units. $4, quantity supplied 8 units, quantity demanded 4 units. And $5, quantity supplied 10 units and quantity demanded is 2 units. Jadi, di manakah market equilibrium? So, market equilibrium berlaku apabila quantity demanded equals to quantity supplied. Jadi, dekat mana? 6 and 6 for quantity supplied, 6 for quantity demanded. Jadi, equilibrium price adalah $3, quantity demanded is 6 units. So, that is market equilibrium. Um, and then now kita nak tengok um, what happened to the other prices. Ya, yeah, adakah kita tak boleh analyze, kita tak perlu analyze. No, kita kena analyze lah. So, kita cuba tengok at $1, yeah, quantity supply is 2 units and quantity demanded is 8, 10, uh, sorry, 10 units. Maknanya supply tu demand 10. Maknanya demand lebih banyak dari supply. So, when demand is greater than supply, quantity demanded is greater than supply, berlaku apa? Kekurangan. Barang yang ada di pasaran sikit tapi orang nak beli banyak. Jadi, berlaku kekurangan barang. So, this condition kita panggil sebagai shortage. So, how much is the shortage? 2 minus 8 atau uh, 2 minus 10 atau 10 minus 2 adalah 8 units. At $2, quantity supplied for quantity demanded 8 units. Jadi, shortage berapa? Um, 4 units, right? Okay, untuk $4, yeah, quantity supplied 8 units but quantity demanded 4 units. Dekat sini, supply lebih banyak dari demand. Ya, barang banyak tapi orang kurang membeli. Jadi berlaku lebihan barangan. Kita panggil surplus. So how much is the surplus? 4 units. Ya. Sama juga $5. Quantity supply is 10 units. And quantity demanded is 2 units. Jadi surplus is 8 units. So kita boleh kata di sini apa? We can conclude that when price is below the equilibrium price. Tadi equilibrium price $3. Jadi, bila price below the equilibrium price, $2 and $1, there will be a problem of shortage. Yeah? And when price is above equilibrium price, 
four dollar and five dollar, there will be a problem of surplus. Jadi kita akan tengok um, how are we going to illustrate or how we going to draw the market equilibrium, and we going to analyze um, the uh, situation of surplus and shortage.